Initiating countdown. How'd it go? You ever try explaining to your parents why your DNA makes you the only candidate for a time jump? And they understand you're never coming back. I reminded them that Adolf Hitler was responsible for the deaths of 60 million people. Fathers, mothers, children. And that only I can stop that from ever happening. Ready, sir. Now remember, the real housekeeper arrives on the 915 train April 30th. That gives you 48 hours. That's all I need. We don't believe in you. All right, Fräulein. Just feeling a little ill. I am looking for the farmer end. Postad, two one nine. I am here to see Herr Hitler. I am Alois Hitler. Herr Hitler, I am Martha Eichelmann, the new housekeeper. This is the pride and joy of my household. My son, Adolf. But if you had a chance to go back in time and save millions of lives by killing one man, Andrea Collins will soon discover this mission to be more difficult than she ever imagined, as she takes a one-way trip into the Twilight Zone. are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. We were not expecting you for two more days. I was able to settle my affairs early in Salzburg and saw no reason to delay. You are much younger than I expected. May I see your references for me? So, you last served with the von Schlager family in Salzburg. For how long? Just under three years. I have heard about the von Schlager. He is a banker, yes? No. No, that is his brother, Karl. Herr von Schlager is involved in shipping. It is fortunate you were able to arrive early. I am planning a dinner party in two days for the chief customs inspector and his wife. Christina will need your help with the preparations. Your regular duties, including the cooking and cleaning schedules, are laid out here. I see no mention of the child. The child is exclusively Christina's responsibility. But surely I can assist. It is nothing personal, Fräulein. I have known Christina for many years and have come to trust her. Perhaps you and I will... Develops that level of trust as well. Forgive me. I was merely offering to help with the child.
We have lost three children. I am very protective of my new son. I am sorry for your loss. It must be very hard on your wife. She brought it on herself. She is a weak woman, both in body and mind. Forgive me, Herr Hitler. I thought he was asleep. Don't make me regret keeping you on, girl. He has a temper, does he not? He is like any other man. It is vice to keep him happy. He'll soon learn that. Son's room. Oh, you startled me. Frau Hitler, forgive me. I am not the icon, the new housekeeper. I was just checking on the child. I just wanted to make him more comfortable. Silly girl. Babies do not need pillows. Ah, oh, I was not thinking, Frau Hitler. You can call me Clara. There's a key. Excuse me? There's a key. It's a key. Wait. Wait. Never forget the key. It keeps out the evil spirits. Evil spirits, yes. Of course. He's so beautiful. So innocent. I must protect him. Sometimes the spirits reach the children and lead them astray. I will not let that happen to my son. He is my miracle. <laughs> you, you hold him. I, I am not allowed. Son, I don't think I could go on living. I should get in bed. You're right. Neither of us should be here. He remains a man above all. You have a classic beauty, Fraulein. Tell me, Fraulein, do you like it here? Yes. Good. It is important to me that you feel at home. You're a member of my family now. I am so sorry. I was going to have a little clumsy. 
It's all right. All right. Do you enjoy Wagner? I've never heard his music. <laughs> I have tickets for a performance tonight of Das Liebswort. If you would care to join me. But Herr Hessler, what would your wife say? Clara is very understanding. Since she has taken ill, I have not had much opportunity to socialize. She will not mind. I would be honored, Herr Hitler, but I am still so tired from the train. Perhaps another time. If Frau Hitler cannot go, perhaps Christina would enjoy a night out. I have been rather hard on Christina lately. I have to think about it. You are in a good mood. I need a favor, Martha. Herr Hitler asked me to go to town with him. Can you take care of the baby tonight? Of course. Please, be extra careful around the child. He would kill me if anything happened to his son. You are afraid of him. Is that why you let him into your bed? You hurt us. I think the whole street hurt you. He says he will marry me someday. They always say that. Madame Clara was once the Hitler's housekeeper. He married her when his wife Fanny passed away. So you're hoping lightning will strike twice, huh? Excuse me. Never mind. Here's the prayers of all, my child. But if I told you there was someone in this town who would one day be responsible for the death of 60 million people? I would say that no one can know the future. Trust me, Father. He will drive mankind towards hell on earth. But if even what you said were true, what could possibly be done about it? Do you not see? I have to kill him. Give me the strength to do what I have to do. Only God has the right to take a life. Madame Claude, you have to leave here. Leave? Take the baby and go. Leave this, this house, this country. But my dear, I cannot leave. This is my home. You love your son, do you not? With all my heart. Then this is your chance to save him. Get him away from here. Away from his father. Don't be ridiculous. Where would I go? France. England. America. But my husband said they are the enemies of the Aryan people. I know this sounds crazy, but unless you leave here, millions of people are going to die. Perhaps my tonic will calm you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fallen. Herr Hitler. I was just taking a walk to clear my mind. I often do that myself. This is no place to raise a child. I agree. That is why tonight's dinner is so important. If I impress the chief inspector, I might get a transfer of this godforsaken town. The shores of the fatherland. Have you ever been to Germany? It is a wondrous country, so filled with beauty and culture. It is a tragedy that the Aryan people are divided. But one day, Germany and Austria will be reunited. I'm not so sure that is such a good idea. Nonsense. You sound like one of them. One of them? The Jews, of course. They have plotted for hundreds of years to divide our people. Holden? For my baby? Get away, you gypsy filth! Jews! Gypsies, vermin, everywhere, corrupting our area and nation, keeping us from greatness. But one day the people will rise up and clean the streets of some scum. It is inevitable. Something has to be done. Come. You're right. Something has to be done. How many children did you say you have? Oh, and they're all wonderful. I'm sure they are, of course. Please sit. Have you seen this in public? Half an hour. What? Nothing. I will do it. So, there's the new addition to the family. Probably asleep. I will have the nanny bring him down. Christina! Ja, bitte, Herr Hitler. Where's my son? Marte is with him. I do not trust the new housekeeper with the baby. She was acting very peculiar today. Bring the boy down when we have finished dining, Christina, and uh, ask Fräulein Eichelmann to meet me in my study later. Baby. Chief Inspector, allow me to present my son, Adolf Hitler.
He is a beautiful child, a fine example of Aryan breeding. Precious little Adolf, my angel. of silence for Andrea Collins. She sacrificed her life for the good of mankind, but she also created the very monster she sought to destroy. History can never be changed, not even in the twilight.